United Auto Workers strike continues. Need de new details have come out about some talks between CEOs and workers. And if the strike does not reach an agreement soon, you could see car prices start to increase. ABC 17's Gabrielle Tyner joins us live in studio this morning with details on the newest developments. Gabrielle, good morning. Yesterday, Stellantis offered a 21% raise in hourly pay to their workers, but it's still 15% less than what the union is asking. Nia, good morning. While Stellantis, Ford, and GM are actively trying to come to an agreement, their offers are proving to not be enough for the workers who are continuing on with the strike as it goes on to its third day. We told you on Friday that three plants are on strike, including one in Wentzville, Missouri. GM said about 2,000 employees in Kansas City will be laid off sometime this week because the plant depends on parts from the Wentzville plant to operate. Negotiators for the UAW and Ford have had a, quote, reasonably productive discussion yesterday over creating new contract deals for the workers. However, no details about the discussion have been released. And while these discussions continue, sources say shortages in cars like the Chevy Silverado and the Tahoe and the Ford F-50 series pickup trucks could be seen quicker than other cars due to their high demand. And as Ford, GM, Stellantis cars become more difficult to get, it could turn consumers to buy, to panic and buy from non-union competitors who would charge more. Dealerships will continue to stay open as they do have inventory to keep going for a while, but they are hoping the strike doesn't affect their business significantly. I will definitely admit that I'm nervous about it. We've got between 30 and 45 day supply on on new car inventory and about the same on parts. Uh, both of those things re rely on the manufacturer to get, get it to us in time for us to deliver it to the next customer. Since 2020, new vehicle prices have jumped up 22%, with the average price being around $48,000. Back to you, Nia. Thank you, Gabrielle. We'll continue to follow this and let you know about any more local impacts from the strikes.